Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. And in this video, I am going to discuss about cohesive contact with Abacus CI. Many times we have to solve a problem where we have to model a bonded surface where bond might fail. So cohesive contact is one of the best way to define those interactions. So I am going to solve one example which is shown over here. There are two L-shaped steel brackets and those steel brackets are adhesively bonded on one surface as shown over here. And we are going to fix one end and we are going to apply a displacement boundary condition on the second end in the positive y direction. So as you can imagine because of this load the adhesive will fail and the crack will start from here and it will propagate along this interface. This is also known as T peel test. So this is very standard test used in the industry. Now there are two ways to model this. One is cohesive contact which we are going to see. There is another way where we explicitly model the adhesive. The adhesive will also have some material. Adhesive will have some thickness and we can use cohesive elements in that case. But if you want to know more about that, please see my another video. In this video, I'm going to use cohesive contact. Both ways are actually very similar. Cohesive elements and cohesive contact, the theory behind it is almost same. If you understand one, you will definitely understand the other. So in cohesive contact behavior, there is no material. So there is no thickness and cohesive contact is defined by something called traction separation law. This is one example of triangular traction separation law given over here. There are some other types of traction separation laws as well, but Abacus doesn't support all of them. Abacus only supports few and triangular traction separation is one of actually most widely used. So in this video, we will talk about triangular traction separation law. This is just the shape of this traction separation law. There are some others like trapezoidal or there are some exponential. Now, as you can see, traction separation law is nothing but this tells you if you load these two surfaces, then how they will respond. So when you load this adhesive bond, the damage will not start initially. Initially, it will act just as linear elastic material. So that part is shown by this line, which is known as undamaged behavior. So this is just elastic behavior. So in Abacus, we will define this using the stiffness of this line. So the slope of this line. In our case, we will take slope as 1000. So this will be the first parameter. Then we have to tell Abacus as we are increasing the load, it's fine. Initially it is elastic, but at what point the damage will start? That is known as damage initiation criteria. And to define damage initiation, we have to tell Abacus this maximum traction. So as you can see here, using maximum nominal stress, we will define damage initiation. In our case, we will define it as 65. So this is second parameter. Of course, after damage, the adhesive will become weak. Therefore, its load carrying capacity will start to decrease. So we have to tell Abacus by which rate it will start to decrease. Now, for some reason, this you can't just define using slope of this line. Abacus doesn't like that. Abacus gives you two options. You can either define it by specifying area under this curve, which is also fracture toughness or critical fracture energy. So we are going to use that. We will define area under the curve or you can define this delta Tn, the displacement at which the surfaces will separate. So this damage evaluation is irreversible process. So if you unload the bond from here, from this point, its response will be like this. It will go back like this. So we need these three parameters to define cohesive contact. For cohesive contact, there is no damage under compression loading. It will just act as rigid contact. For L brackets, I'm going to assume material as steel. So Young's models and Poisson's ratio is given over here and all the dimensions are given over here. And for this example, we are going to stick with mm megapascal second format. So all the values, whatever you are seeing here are in this format. Let's start with Abacus CI. First set your working directory and then create part. I'm going to name it as bracket one, two dimensional shell. Now I know there are different ways to model this. We can just create one part and create two instances of that part. But the focus of this video is cohesive contact. So I'm just going to model these two parts separately. And also I will keep the origin over here at the center so that when we assemble them, they will be already at correct location. First, I will just create L bracket.
and once we do this then using this fillet command so inside radius is 2 so just keep radius 2 and then one more time the outside radius is 3 done one more part bracket 2 same process Again use fillet, outside radius 3 and inside radius 2. Done, create material steel, just two parameters, Young's modulus 200 gigapascal, poisons ratio 0 0.3. Create solid homogeneous section and assign the section to both parts bracket 2 and bracket 1. Then go to assembly, create two instances, and as you can see, they will be already in correct location. Then create a step, static general step go into incrementation and I'm going to reduce this initial increment to 0 0.01 this minimum also I'm going to reduce to 10 raised to minus 12 and maximum let's keep it 0 0.1 maximum number of increments also let's increase to 1000 because of contact problem we need smaller time step then go to interaction now first let's create interaction property so for that go over here select contact say continue go into mechanical and then cohesive behavior now over here interaction separation behavior select specify stiffness and here you will define your initial stiffness so this is for elastic behavior i'm going to use same stiffness in all three different modes then again go into mechanical and go into damage over here we have to define maximum nominal stress I am going to keep it at 65 for all three modes so actually abacus allows you to define different traction separation parameters for different modes like normal shear 1 and shear 2 but this is just the first tutorial so I am not going to do that as of now we will just keep same to all then tick on this specify damage evaluation here as I said there are two options either you can define displacement or energy I am going to define energy keep linear over here this linear means it's a triangular traction separation and fracture energy 11 say ok then before you create interaction you have to create two surfaces over here so for that go back into part in bracket 1 double click on this surfaces and create a surface I am going to name it as bottom surface select this bottom surface and then go to bracket 2 and create one more surface let's say top surface select this one go back to interaction and now you can create interaction select surface to surface contact say continue on this right bottom corner you can select on this surfaces so you will see both the surfaces over here you can choose any surface as master and then again select slave surface and select another as slave doesn't matter you can change this also using this switch surface command but for this it should work same in sliding formulation select small sliding keep this at surface to surface and in contact interaction property you can see the property we created will come over here say ok next go to load i will fix the bottom edge again let's go back to select in viewport select the bottom edge and i'm going to pin it and then top edge we will apply displacement
टू एम एम इन पॉजिटिव वाई डायरेक्शन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज गो टू मैश फर्स्ट गो टू पार्ट नाउ जस्ट टू गेट अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैश आई एम गोइंग टू पार्टीशन दिस पार्ट जस्ट पार्टीशन आउट दिस बैंड देन गो टू मैश कंट्रोल्स सिलेक्ट द होल पार्ट सिलेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड यूजिंग क्वाड एलिमेंट्स देन सीट द पार्ट 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव एंड मैश इट सिमिलरली फॉर ब्रैकेट वन फर्स्ट अगेन पार्टीशन देन मैश कंट्रोल्स स्ट्रक्चर्ड कॉड सीट द पार्ट विथ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव साइज and mesh it mesh is done and now before creating a job just raise one field output request double click on this field output request say continue and here go in failure scroll down and here you have to turn on this scalar stiffness degradation for cohesive surfaces this will tell you how much damage occurred on that surface say okay and then create a job i am going to name it as t peel test say continue and submit it it's done let's go to results and these are the results you can animate it in time using this let's reduce the speed a little bit so you can see how crack is propagating along the cohesive contact and if you want to see how much damage occurred go over here and go into cstmg so this shows you how much damage has occurred so it will vary from 0 to 1 so now if you change the step you can see over here how damage is propagating so this one means there is a total separation there is no bond at all and zero means there is no damage at all and again you can animate the time history and you can see how damage is propagating if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you are interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.